Rosetta had spent over two years at Comet 67P Kyumov Gerasimenko, but her time there was already coming to an end. She had made millions of measurements and by now knew the comet inside out. She had taken photos from all angles, collected dust grains, and sampled the gases in the comet's atmosphere, especially water vapor, which was not quite the same as water on Earth. She had measured the gravity of the comet, the magnetic field in its surroundings, and how the comet interacts with the solar wind. During the two years, Rosetta had monitored how the comet changed as they moved closer to the sun and then away again. With all this information, scientists back home had learned many things about how comets formed and evolved. They also established that comets were made of the dusty and icy material left over after the planets were formed, and so they contained some of the oldest and best preserved material from the birth of our solar system. Rosetta had made even more remarkable discoveries. She found ingredients that were crucial for the origin of life on Earth. Perhaps comets had helped seed the Earth with these important ingredients when our planet was still very young. Scientists would definitely be busy analyzing Rosetta's findings for decades. Her mission had been a huge success. After a long search, she had even managed to find the strange place where Philae had ended up, fast asleep in a dark corner of the comet. But now, once again far from the sun, Rosetta was not generating as much power and soon would not have enough to carry out her investigations. She could go back to sleep right away, but instead decided to undertake one last ambitious challenge. She was going to follow in Philae's footsteps and land on the comet. Rosetta was tired after 12 and a half years traveling through space, but she was very excited about her last tasks. She would finally see up close some of the amazing sights she had been observing from a distance for the past two years. And she'd get to sample the comet's gases closer than she had ever dared to go before. It would not be easy, but the experts back home had everything figured out and the date was set. Rosetta would be targeting a really interesting place on the head of the comet. She wasn't going to be able to talk to Earth ever again once she was on the comet's surface. After all, she was never designed to land. So she would have to send back her last images and data as quickly as possible before saying her final goodbyes. Even though her incredible journey was nearly complete, she knew that just like the other comet explorers that had gone before her, the legacy of her amazing mission would live on forever. She felt lucky to have had so many friends and hoped they would still think about her and Philae from time to time. After 786 days at the comet, the last day of her extraordinary adventure had arrived. 